Hey church, my name is Dante, and I'm the junior high pastor out at the Ranch Bernardo campus. And today, we are gonna be taking a look at one of the most popular, most well-known passages in all of the Christmas story. And it takes place in Luke chapter two, and it starts in verse eight. It goes a little something like this. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. You see, today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into the heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. What's the big deal with Christmas? Like, I get it. A baby was born. His name was Jesus. That's awesome. But let's be honest. Babies are born all the time. Like, my wife and I, we just had a baby five and a half months ago. And don't get me wrong, it was great, and it was wonderful, and it was joyful. But here's what we don't do. We don't have an annual international holiday celebrating every single baby being born. And yet for Jesus, for Christmas, we do. So what's the big deal with Christmas? I remember asking this as a kid. What's the big deal with Christmas? Every one of you may have a specific Christmas tradition that your family carries out, and yet for me, my family, we had a few. Your typical ones, giving out gifts, watching Christmas movies, having some sort of a Christmas dinner, but one of them was particularly unique for us. You see, we'd, we would wake up every Christmas morning and we'd run, knock on our parents' doors, and we'd get them up, and we'd get all excited, and we'd run down. And most kids, you run straight to the Christmas tree, but for us, we ran to the kitchen table. And my mom, every single year, would open up the oven door, she would bring it out, she would place it out in front of us, she would take a little birthday candle and, and place it in the middle of a birthday cake. And my brothers and I would proceed. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to Jesus, happy birthday to you. And as a kid, it was the best. You're like, wait, I get presents and I get to eat cake for breakfast, Christmas is the greatest. But as we got older, it was weird. You like start singing and you're like, do I close my eyes? Do I look at an empty chair? Like this is, this is awkward. What is the big deal with Christmas? And yet my bet is, if you ask those shepherds, it would've been really obvious. You see, for 700 plus years, they have been waiting for a Messiah to be born, for the Savior, for, for a king that is going to restore the nation of Israel. They are no longer going to be oppressed. They are no longer going to, going to need to submit to any outside authority or kingdom or empire that's done. And so for them, it was, are you kidding me? This is, this is the greatest day in history. And yet again, I ask, what's the big deal with Christmas again? I'm not a shepherd 2,000 years ago, so... What is it? And here's what we know. That baby grew up and he wasn't just any random baby, but he was the son of God. He lived a perfect life. He died on a cross for you and I and he rose again, all for the sake of our sin, that if we believe in him, we may now have eternal life. That's the big deal with Christmas. And so here's the challenge, here's the encouragement, that we would simply be like the shepherds that as they glorified and they praised God for all that they had heard and seen and done in the midst of this crazy Christmas season, that when people interact with us, that we may have the hope, peace, joy, love that comes with the fact that we have heard, we have seen, and we praise God for all that he has done in saving us. Hopefully that challenges you. Hopefully that encourages you. And we'll see you next time.